Hey guys, so we're going to pick up where we left off at the end of last class on Wednesday, um, talking about wood glue. So like I mentioned in class on Wednesday, wood glue is what in the long run should be holding your project together. Um, if you've put on enough wood glue, it should hold the structure together and the nails and screws act more as a fail safe. All right, starting on fasteners. So the first thing that most of you guys know uh, is going to be nails. I'm sure the majority of you, if not all of you, have hammered a nail into a board at some point in your life. We will not be hammering any nails into boards for this class, but we do use nails here and there still in the theater. Um, this is just a small chart of all of the nails that you can see in an hardware store there's also plenty more depending on the hardware store the standard nail that you think of when you think of the word nail is known as a ten penny nail and we still use those in theater to replace the pins that come with the loose pin hinges either when they're uh, not usable anymore they're lost or they just need to be replaced um, ten penny nails fit that spot perfectly uh, and they're a lot cheaper in bulk than the replacement pins that you can get from the manufacturers. So we don't really see nails used a lot. You might see them used in props to keep uh, consistency with time period, uh, but usually now what you're going to see more are staples and screws. So we talked a little bit about staples in class the other day. There are three different sizes. There's narrow crown. The crown is the back edge of the staple. Um, so there can be narrow crown, which are approximately a quarter of an inch. Uh, medium crown staples, which measure approximately 7 sixteenths of an inch for the crown size, the uh, crown distance. And wide crown staples, which can measure approximately one inch. You can actually use a wide crown to span a gap to hold two pieces of wood together as long as you can staple it from both sides. Um, and it's still strong enough once you get both of those sides stapled. I would still prefer to use corner blocks and keystones, which we'll talk about when we get into how to build a flat, um, specifically a Broadway style flat, um, which use corner blocks and keystones. The staples that we're going to use in the shop are going to be narrow crown staples, and we're typically going to stick around two lengths of the staples, um, inch and a quarter which are the longest that you can fit into our standard narrow crown staple guns, um, inch and a quarter, and those are when you're stapling through three quarter inch material. So any one by material you can use inch and a quarter staples to staple through it. And then we also use uh, half inch to three quarter inch staples, um, and we use those to staple through Luon. Anything roughly a quarter of an inch thick, you can staple through with the half inch to the three quarter inch staple length. Okay, before I move on into screws, I want to talk about uh, length of fastener for the job that you're doing um, and choice between fastener. So uh, when it comes to choosing which type of fastener to use, you want to think of first what application it's being used in, uh, the object that you're making. Is it something that's load-bearing or structural, or is it something that's purely aesthetic like a wall? Uh, so if it's structural, you're going to want to use screws. So that means anytime you're building any kind of platforming, you're definitely going to want to use screws for anything that is permanent structure. Any semi-permanent will get into bolts later. So for the structural, you're going to be using screws. Uh, they hold better. They pull your material tighter together so that you've got tighter seams, so that you've got a better chance of your glue working properly. Um, and they're also a better fail safe should that glue fail. Uh, and I will say that screws and staples are both permanent fasteners uh, or mostly permanent fasteners. You can still take them apart, but bolts are going to be non-permanent, semi-permanent fasteners when you're attaching two things together for now. So if we're attaching two stock platforms together for this show we're going to attach them together with bolts 
so that they hold tight and we don't need anything stronger like glue to hold them together. Um, and we can take them apart easily and they come apart cleanly after the show is over because they are still stock. So we want to keep them and use them again. So that's for structural builds. You're going to want to use screws for anything non-structural or aesthetic, such as flats, um, walls or any or facades, uh, fireplace facades, things like that. Um, you can use staples to put those together because they don't support any kind of weight. They're not going to be put through any kind of physical activity. So they're less likely to break if you've got something simple like staples holding them together. The other thing that I wanted to talk about before I moved on to screws was how to choose the length of the fastener that you're using. Uh, the rule of thumb is twice what you're going through. So if you think about that, if we're screwing through a two by four, which based on our last lesson, the actual distance that you're going to be screwing through is going to be an inch and a half. You wanna think double that when you're choosing what length of screw to use for that task. Hopefully that makes sense. Obviously I can't see your responses because this is a recorded lesson, uh, but hopefully that makes sense to everybody. So twice what you're going through. I'll lead us through a couple situations with the staples right now since that's what we've talked about. Um, so when you're building a frame and you're stapling through three-quarter ply, according to the rule, three-quarter times two or three-quarter plus three-quarter is an inch and a half. Inch and a half staples are too long to fit into the staple guns. So we take the best option that we have, which is an inch and a quarter. So the longest staples that you can put into the gun, which are inch and a quarter, are used for stapling flats together. For fastening the facing onto the flats, the Luon onto the front of the flats for uh, hardcover flats, the Luon is approximately a quarter of an inch thick. So double that is a half of an inch. So we use half inch staples to staple through Luon. We can use slightly more so we would use half inch staples at minimum to staple through Luon. We can use slightly more just because half an inch is not much. A quarter of an inch bite into the material is not a lot. So we uh, also will occasionally, a quarter of an inch into, a quarter of an inch into the material that you're fastening it to isn't a lot of space. So usually we will step it up a little bit to be more like three quarters of an inch where we've got half of an inch into the material. Um, but the rule is twice what you're going through if you've got, uh, if you've ever got that question. We don't wanna to go too much higher than that. We don't wanna use inch and a quarter staples to staple our Luon on, that's a waste of staples, okay? Larger the staple, the more expensive they are per staple, okay? So we wanna make sure to use the correct staple for the job, okay? Moving on to screws. The screws that we use in the shop, more than any other screw is going to be a drywall screw. The reason that we use a drywall screw is because they're super duper cheap and we go through a lot of them. Other screws you can get specifically wood screws and those are the more silvery screws that you see there, they are stronger, they'll hold better. They're also uh, coated with a slightly rust-proof coating or made from stainless steel uh, so that they're less likely to rust or degrade over time. Um, and they're just a better quality, but they cost more per screw. So we don't really use them unless we have to buy a, a super small screw, like a three quarter inch or smaller screw. Those uh, only come in wood screw. They don't sell drywall screws that short. And then these other ones off to the top right in that image of the screws, uh, those are drywall anchor screws. They're specific for if you're putting something into drywall to give that a little bit more hold, you use those anchors. It's just like those little plastic bits that you put into your drywall um, and then put the screw in. It just gives it a little bit more hold strength.